G'day everybody, Mick from Oz Truck and TV, here with me mate Custard, how's it going Custard? Good mate, it's good to see you again. Not too bad out here mate, we're out here at the back of the shell at West Wyalong. There's all this paddock out the back, it's quite warm out here and of course, and some, something usual, <laughs> the flies. And the flies mate, the flies. So um, what I want to have a chat about is uh, obviously our rig of the month for October. Yeah, how'd we go? Mate, really really nice looking Western Star, I mean, I think it looked nice. But we have no bearing on who votes for it, of yep. course. You, the people out there, have to get onto Facebook or on the website, hit the picture, hit the like button, and that's your winner. But uh, Chris Harmer lives at Wagga, and he works for Birkinshaws driving their Western Star. So all you people who voted for that, you did a great job for Chris. Most of the way, I hear a voice on the radio Singing all the songs I know I'm hanging for some real company hey, hey. These rusty wheels keep turning over Man, this old truck's seen better days I've crossed every state line All boats of every kind And divided all the truck stops on the way And I could tell you stories And swear they're all bit true Seen red skies over Atlas As the storm began to brew So rig is getting tired As the miles pass us by But I'm betting we'll be together till I die it's a long, hard road when you're doing it. So congratulations there, Chris. You now have a free truck wash from My Truck Wash Express. And you also take away a 24-pack of piston energy drinks. We just happen to have one here. Excellent. So thanks to our sponsors for that competition. All right. Now, let's move on. Here we go. All right. Now, just in case you didn't see it. All right. Now, let's talk about um, some really good places to pick up some tucker. And, of course... We're not yes. going to pro we're going to promote the people we think you should go to because we're going to eat the tucker and if we think it's great we're going to tell you out there. There's, All right. one, there's one place that brings the memory. Yep. Straight away because I travel this road a lot, and that's the caravan. Jones Trucker Tucker Van at the Gowan Rest Area, Coona Barabri. Yes. Only northbound. Don't cross over southbound. Yeah. It's illegal. It is, and and. I guess uh, Joan doesn't need the drama either. That's right. Still on a four month trial. Yeah. And uh, of course, that won't be a trial as long as we keep turning up and filling out the survey form there and give her all positive feedback. Okay. And of course, there is another place. Anyway, say good day to Joan when you get out there. Tell them Mick and Custard said good day, even though we're there most of the time. Every now, three days. Now, obviously, because most of the time I'm sort of out in the front road and on the back road, Pacific or the Newell. Uh, one that I like is uh, the Grafton Transit Centre. So how is that Pacific Oz? Uh, yeah, look, it has its moments, that's for sure. Uh, as a few of our driving uh, community know. Yeah. Now, the, the Grafton Transit Centre, uh, a few people would know in the last couple of months, is so under new Grafton management. Grafton Transit Centre, that's the BP, just that's, as you're coming in? As you're coming into Grafton, where the BP is, it's the diner right beside it. Right. Now, for the, in the last couple of months, it's gone under new management, which obviously means a new attitude. And the tucker... Mate, the tucker is great. I got, uh, I had a chicken schnitzel and salad and chips there the other night. Uh, last week I had uh, a mixed grill, <laughs> unbelievable. And of course you've seen the picture of the burger. Boy, that burger. Unbelievable. <laughs> so I was nearly again, ready to eat me fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, so when you go to the Grafton Transit Centre, don't forget to say hello to Joe and the girls and tell them Mick from Oz Truck and TV sent you because Custard sort of stays out in this road. So when you go and see Joan at Joan's Trucker Tucker van, tell them Custard sent you. Sounds fair. Now yeah, listen. That sounds pretty damn good, Mick. High five. <laughs> All right. Now listen, we always sit there and whinge on the UHF about car drivers and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, now I hear it all the time. But just get a bag of cement and harden up. Well, look, I've got to give a bit of a... Thumbs up for some people we met today, Joe and Van. Oh, top people. Uh, met them at Parks. Kim and Kerry, uh, they've got a, a four-wheel drive, a Toyota Land Cruiser four-wheel drive, and uh, it's a bloody large caravan. Uh, first thing I said to Custard when I seen it parked there in, in Parks, because we went and done a bit of shopping, I said, look at this, this is set up perfectly. It was dead flat. Yeah. You know I mean, because we all know, out in the road, in the truck, if they're coming towards you and they've got the weight distributed wrong, we're getting blinded all the time. That's right. So we decided to go and see Kim and Kerry, and we give them a thumbs up. We told them we we're quite impressed with their unit and the way it was set up because, uh, you know, it's, it's not very often you see it. But I tell you what, though, I did ask them how long that caravan was. Yeah, how long was it? It is a 14 palleter 
from front curtain to the back of the curtain, that's how long it is. That's the caravan, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, that is long, but they've done their homework on it, and it rides beautiful because we followed them. Yep, yep. So, um, big thumbs up to Kim and Kerry. And look, they're always on the UHF. They spoke to us a couple of times as we were travelling, but not annoying. Um, just paying attention to what was going on. So, um, you know, we always give them caravan as a bit of a bad rap, but Kim and Kerry, you guys? Thumbs up. Thanks very much, eh? And uh, keep an eye out for them out there. It's a, it's a Toyota Land Cruiser. Yes, it's white. White. And it's a Paramount van. Yeah. And, um, you know, just have a chat to them on there because uh, we've got to give them people a good rap when they're doing the right thing. Yeah, they, don't, they don't have their name on the back of the caravan yet because it's only new. Yeah, well that's about yeah. their fourth van, didn't he say? Yeah, fourth van. So, you know, yeah. like they're fairly into it. Like, on the other side of things, uh, people out there, if you're not truckies and you are watching the video, when you're towing a van, get your weight distribution right. Because if you're too low in the back end, it's going to reduce your braking at the front, the weight on the front. I mean, we, not, we might not be experts out in the field in those sort of areas, but driving trucks, we've got to distribute the weight and get the weights right. So I think that sort of experience counts for something. Yeah, and there's nothing worse than you might be on low beam, but we think you're on high beam because your car's pointing upwards and we flash our lights at you and we're all blind. Yeah, exactly right. So just a couple of tips there for the people who aren't truckies and out there towing a caravan. It's not a, yeah, look, I mean, we got to, we have to, we're professional drivers and we're driving heavy vehicles. Um, sometimes a caravan is very similar like that. You really need to know what you're dealing with. Anyway. But if you do see us coming up in the mirror, don't panic, because we will slow down and make the right move. Yeah, exactly right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, again, we'll be at a different location, no doubt, when we do the next video. Yeah. But it's been a pleasure catching up with Custard, again, as usual. So uh, we're going hit to the, hit the road again soon, and uh, he's going to head to Melbourne, I'm going to head to Wodonga. Ah, uh, Three-quarter man. Three-quarter, that's me. Anyway, uh, look, you guys take care out there, and um, we've rambled on enough. Yeah. But remember, fatigue affects everybody, not just truckies. See ya. Hello. I can feel the next stretch of that top calling me